All right, guys, welcome back to War Difficulty 8. In this instance, I'm running 179 Scourges. We're going to be doing nodes number 5 uh, and node number 10 in this video here today. I want to talk about them. Their nodes number 5, in my opinion, is easier than node number 10. Node 10 is quite challenging because of the Bionic Avengers and Power Armor and the tech characters. I'll show you what Scourges I'm running. Now, keep in mind, this is not designed for, like, super hardcore players who are looking for, like, a 3 million run or something. Uh, I have done my best run is 2.1 million right now with these Scourges, actually. These identical, these identical Scourges. I could probably do more. Maybe I will. Uh, but these are the ones that I'm comfortable with. As of recording this video, Dark Resolve 3 is busted. Um, Pyrrhic Victory 2 is busted. In my other videos, if you've been watching them uh, for the lanes, then you'll these are the exact same Scourges that I've been running. Power Siphon 1, not so fast. Power Fatigue 1, Stage Fright, Unkillable, Unstoppable Force, Weaken, Power Fatigue 2, Butterfly Effect, which is quite interesting, but I've never really taken advantage of it yet. Uh, when It Rains, and Stay Down, which is the Revive Once thing. Now, when I run Node 5, I like using T'Challa, and I'll show you why. So I don't run Heimdall. I don't use Heimdall on this node. I do use T'Challa. And actually, I should probably put T'Challa uh, probably somewhere else. I should probably not in the middle. I probably should put him next to Sif, actually. So I'm going to put Valkyrie in the middle. And then I'm going to put T'Challa here. And then Mighty Thor on the end. Not sure. Actually, I'm going to put Thor on the end. And so this is where I'm going to I'm gonna save that. <laughs> so this is my lineup that I use for this node. And the main reason why I use T'Challa is because of the characters at the start and he can really set things up to make it a little bit easier because he's quick and he's quicker than everyone else on the field as you'll see here and so i use this time to he's faster than omega red and so i use the special to blind omega red and i steal his energy so he's not going to do any skills because he's next up you saw that he was immediately after t'challa and now i'm gonna buff up and try to take him down because I don't want now he's stunned that's good so I could but then Psylocke's gonna chuck back you're gonna see shit like hit the fan uh Thor's gonna start that that was unfortunate actually that that stun there but you're gonna see a lot of like shit hitting the fan with uh things going off him popping off I'm going to it's not even gonna matter because I'm not gonna land that so I'm just gonna do some extra damage here try to get rid of that evade and then Thor's gonna pop off with offense up which is good and there's just, it's all about Thor. I'm like, I'm not even joking. Uh, but I don't like, actually, uh, yeah, so I wanted to break the death roof, but I, I didn't quite, there's, somehow I didn't, or is it, that's weird. Did he have two death roof? I don't know what happened. So, <laughs> I'm not going to, this gives uh, defense up for one turn, so I'm not going to do that just yet. Taunting would give me defense down as well. Popped off again. Okay, that death proof was a ghost buff. I was like, yeah, I definitely hit into that death proof. And so you can see here, and I don't... I'm going to try and chain this. Oh, fucking dodge. I forgot about that. Anyways, maybe I shouldn't have done that. It's all about Thor's charges. I'm going to break this. I'm going to save the alt, because that's actually really important going into... And this is really random, in my opinion. This node can be really random. Unfortunately, the, the, the heal block sucks. But Thor does so much damage. Normally, I'm able to kill Sinister, actually, before he summons. So that was the first. Oh, that sucked. I'm, I'm taking more damage this time. So normally... Normally, this is where I kind of reset. Because I feel like I've taken a little bit more damage than I should. I'm not super concerned about T'Challa that much about where he ends up. Um, I'm also not really concerned about how Sif ends up because I don't use Sif in my No. 10. I use Hulk actually instead of Sif. Another another passive there, and everyone's getting wiped out. Everyone's getting wiped out, and there we are. So in Forge, actually, my health isn't too bad, all things considered. If you look at it, 
Mighty Thors could be better. Um, Seth, again, I'm, she survived, but I'm not going to use her in No. 10, as we'll see when we do our No. 10. T'Challa, I do use as part of a burner, and I don't remember how much ability energy he had left, if he's back up to his special or not. Uh, so we'll find out when we get to node number 10, and we'll do that as well. And I'll show you guys how I do node 10. I do want to say that, for the most part, a lot of it is Thor swinging his hammer. And a lot of it's just, there's no skill involved. There's It's just him doing damage, you having a very high-powered Thor. And he's going to carry the fight. If he has offense up because of Valkyrie special, then all the better. And that's going to help. And so that's just what I do. It's not, there's not, nothing. Node 10 is a lot harder, and I think it's going to be a lot more time consuming as far as the video goes. Uh, because how you set that up and what your considerations are for that one on the back of five, based on how much damage you've taken, what your cooldowns are like, is going to be a little bit challenging. So I'm going to go over that in a little bit more detail in this video here. All right, everyone. So this is node number 10 of my existing run that I'm doing. Now, this is actually a separate run than the recording that I did of node 5. So if you're <laughs> looking at some of my characters and like, you know, where they ended up, it's because it's a different run. Uh, but, you know, basically what I do on node number 10 here, it, it is it is challenging. This is probably more challenging than node number 5. And a lot of the reasons for that is because of vision being on the, the all these starting sort of power armor bionic avengers characters being all tech and having that defense up it's not actually so much the bishop and uh, jubilee in this node but it's just all of the buffs and you kind of really need to have or you want to have mighty thor's ultimate to be able to flip a lot of those buffs over now unfortunately in this run anyways my node 5 I did consume my mighty thor's ultimate to before I I just didn't have enough time on node 5 to reclaim my energy and you'll notice that the biggest thing is that thor does so much damage that on node 5 for example you cleared the node you you typically end up clearing the node before you can get back around on your ability energy and you can't really like it, it just it just the waves clear so quickly and so that's the biggest challenge that I've found in this Scourge. It's not so much that it's super hard, but maintaining your abilities sometimes can be really difficult. Actually, you know what? I wanted to, uh, just to recap my Scourges that I'm running on this one, of course. Dark Resolve 3, as of recording, this is free. Power Siphon 1, enemies gain 5% drain. Uh, when player characters gain ability energy, apply slow to them. I, I'm not sure if this really applies in this instance for node 10. We might end up sacrificing some Asgardians, especially Heimdall and Sif in this uh, fight. Uh, power Fatigue 1. Characters' abilities, uh, ultimate abilities gain one more energy stage fright. When a player character gains taunt, they gain defense down. This might, this will definitely apply to Sif uh, if I get a taunt off. Uh, Pyrrhic Victory 2. This is busted as of recording this as well, so if you want to use that, then go for it. Unkillable, under 50%, they gain death proof. Unstoppable Force, this is related to Striker ISOs. Now, in this instance on No. 10, that's only really going to apply to Deathlock and Viv. Uh, and that's only if they have offense down and they'll get 5% various. Not a lot for them personally because they're kind of squishy already. A weakened player character healing is reduced by 20%. Power Fatigue 2. Butterfly Effect, which is interesting because this will apply to War Machine only in this node. So that's good. Uh, when it rains, you guys have seen that before, and then stay down, of course. It uh, doesn't really matter because nobody's reviving again. So we're going to go in, but what I'm going to do first is not use my Hero as Guardians to, to start. And so you can see my Iron Man <coughs> and my, my T'Challa have gotten really effed up um, a little bit. Hulk is decent, and so what I sometimes use is I will use a, <coughs> a mixed team of... Asgardians and Hulk to go through no 10 uh, and that's because I have gear tier 12 or sorry gear tier 16 Hulk and so I find that quite usable now unfortunately you can see here that Valkyrie's at half health that kind of sucks uh, I probably would end up using Hulk over Sith I think um, this one's a little bit weird because of, you know, my hit points. I'm hoping that I can get through it, which means that I'm basically going to do a, because I'm not using gloating, or bloating, it's gloating, I think, uh, where they gain ability energy for killing. So I'm going to do a sack run of Iron Man, T'Challa, Yondu, Black Widow, and, and Cap. And the reason... <laughs> 
The reason why I'm doing that is because I'm not sure, you know, I know there's five Asgardians in Hulk here. I'm not sure what the best combination is all the time, especially because of the hit points of Valkyrie. Now, I know I need Valkyrie because I need those buffs regardless, so I'm probably going to have to throw her in even though she's a half health. I'm going to save this. Um, I think that's okay. Maybe, um, you know what, actually, Cap, you know, I'm going to put Yondu in the center because of where T'Challa should be in relative to the other characters. So I'm going to put, uh, who, do, who was I using? Iron Man and uh, Cap. This is going to go here. And, oh, fuck. <laughs> there we go. So we're going to go like this. If we're lucky, I might be able to, if I could kill Viv or Ironheart or blow enough cooldowns, that's typically a good run. Because uh, then I can go back in uh, and then I can, I don't have to worry about the support characters. Because Viv and Iron, Viv and Ironheart, sorry, Viv and Rescue is what I meant to say, are the main characters that you need to watch out for. There is no vision to start here, actually. So what I can do, lucky for me, T'Challa actually has a special ready, so that's great. Uh, so I think what I want to do, based on what I, the skill order, right? Um, I am, I want to kill Viv first. Now I also don't like Hulkbuster because he's going to start with his alt, and what that means is that he's going to. Well, he's going to put up barrier, <clears throat> so I need to be careful about that and see whether or not I can actually kill Viv through the barrier. Oh, well, that was instant. I don't have any skills there, actually, for Yondu. This might be challenging, so she's going to waste her special there. I'm not sure if Iron Man's going to take a turn. No, he might not. Oh, he might. No, that barrier really sucks, actually. Yeah, okay, so we're, I'm going to blind Hulkbuster, and then see if I can still, because I don't, I want to steal that energy from him, because I don't want him to do any of his skills. Hulkbuster is such a pain in the ass, because a lot of the characters have, in this node, a fair bit of extra hit points. Part of the problem is my Iron Man is a lot lower uh, this time around now, because I'm using more Scourges than, this is a higher Scourge run than I would typically do. Uh, this is aiming for like a 2.1 million score or something. And so my Iron Man did take a little bit more of a beating than he would typically. And so we get the speed up. And that's what we really want is make sure they all get that. Now, I'm going to be draining the energy off of Hulkbuster. I <clears throat> think I'm not going to be able to clear. And that's the problem. I, don't, I really don't think I'm going to clear anyone's positive status effects. But... Ability energy. I forgot because when I have that ability energy and you gain slow. I don't know if I had that on my other one, one of my other runs. We did actually clear that off of War Machine, but I really want to get Viv down. I really don't like Viv because she's going to put the other characters into stealth under 50%. This is a big problem. And I'm not even sure this is going to do enough damage. It's going to put her into stealth. <laughs> and that's a bit of a problem, a little bit, and I just got blinded. It, she just got popped out of stealth, but now I think the only one that's really able to do anything was T'Challa. So, you can see where this becomes a little bit of a problem. I really don't think I have, because she's going to stealth. Oh, she can only stealth once. That's, that's right, I forgot. I, I don't think I can, no. I'm going to clear that. No, I don't, um, no, I was going to say maybe, the, maybe, um, I feel, yeah, it's that, you know what, I'm, I'm actually going to leave that, and you know why? Because Hulkbuster uses all. This could end up screwing me. This is a very hard node, um, especially when you're lost the amount of hit points that I have uh, on my other characters. And I think what you could do is, is if you can't do a full 10 node run, you can still get a really good nine node run. So if you see right now, I'd actually get bonus points if I could clear this. Um, 1.921 million is where I'm currently at and that's through nine nodes. So it's completely okay as well if you can do just nine nodes uh, because you can do, that, that means you can throw everything at node five and then once you clear that, you're fine. And so I think that might be the better way to go for some people who really can't manage this. And, and I don't even know if I will here. It's really hard. 
maintaining all of your cooldowns, maintaining your character health, because they don't really have very good sustain. And that's part of the problem. So I'm going to find my... No, my... I don't know, my game's freaking out. I don't know, we'll just... So we're going to use Mighty Thor. We're going to use... Uh, I'm going to put Thor there. I'm going to put Valkyrie, Hulk, and... I'm going to start with... I'm going to start with Heimdall. <laughs> I'm going to see how that, how that goes. I'm going to see how it goes. Now I'm running that... I'm pretty sure I'm running the Scourge with Fortifiers who use their alt. Spreads debuffs. Spreads buffs. Um, and my Sith actually is a protector, or sorry, is a fortifier. And so I want to, uh, I believe Rescue already used her all, <clears throat> but Hulkbuster, and I have that defense down thing, but there you go, popped off again. And so I don't want that Hulkbuster to taunt. So I'm going to alt and hope for the stuns. And this is where you have to kind of reset a lot. For, apparently, I can only land one stun. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I mean, I'm, I'm going to play it out anyways, but if I'm not mistaken, he's got a taunt because of fucking Iron Man. But I can get some extra damage, five five targets there. I do have a lot of charges, but I might... Because it does apply ability block, so I'm going to hold. I'm going to strike her attack, and now he's going to stealth because of stupid Viv, and that's why I really want Viv dead. We killed it. Oh my god. Oh, oh, well, we, oh yeah. Okay. So we got another. So a lot of this is about Thor. You can see right away. Okay. So if and there's two Hulkbusters, and I'd really like to get this one dead, because when there's two Hulkbusters out at the same time, that's a bit of an issue. Um. But I'm gonna finish off rescue, and I'm hoping we're gonna chain this around. Oh, and we got another passive. Okay, literally like one shot. Okay, there we go. And we're doing. We're, we're, it's actually looking pretty good. Well, I think we're gonna get this because of the uh, the healing, the passive healing. Deathlock. They didn't get the spawn. That is weird. Oh, that is super weird. The vision spawn defense up happened after. Unfortunately, some of them got offense up. Okay, we smacked again. War uh, War Machine's down. <sighs> The Jubilee stun might be a little bit annoying. What the hell is going on here? Fake taunt. Well, that's no bueno. Oh, oh no! <laughs> what happened there? God damn it. Okay, so they kind of both collapsed at the same time. It's kind of weird. Oh! Offense up passive. Come on. Oh, no fucking... So this happened last time where Mighty Thor died. And basically, it was Hulk and Thor versus the world. Oh, my God. And I just had that... Because the defense down, though, right? Because he keeps getting that offense up from, from having that defense down. So... <laughs> oh, my God. Mm, mm, fucking Hulk. And now he's going to barrier everyone. So this is a super pain in the ass. I'm not sure if I'm going to get this on this. But I, I think this is winnable. I'm going to try and stun Deathlock. There we go. We got three stuns. That was the best thing, actually. I think. Wait, what happened? Did he actually un unstun? Let's let's finish off Vision. Okay, something... Oh, crap. Oof, that did a lot of damage. Oh, oh, we got... An oh, fucking Vision dodged. No! No! Oh, damn it, that's not... I thought he was going to chain. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I didn't get to back out. Oh, my God, there's only, like, three characters. Do I have anyone? Oh, my God. I have Sif, right? Fuck. Oh, my God. Hawkeye... What the hell is this? <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to clear this. They're like almost dead. Deathlock's going to go first because he's got uh, pretty high speed. I'm pretty sure. Can my Sif like... Oh my god. 
Can I clear that? Oh my, oh, no I didn't. Can I, can I, can I steal that? Can I flip it? Oh, 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 come on, yeah, oh fuck. Oh, what? Okay, we got him. Oh my god. What the fuck's going on? Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to kill through this barrier. This is bonkers. Can I steal the- Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, so I, I might get this. Am I gonna get this? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. That barrier, though... Rough. Come on. Okay, we got it slow. That's good. Oh my god, stop dodging. Sif's gonna have to, like, take this out. Uh, right. Turn bar. Oh! My god, we got it, guys. Okay, that was rough. Super rough. The last part, I didn't mean to happen. I was gonna, I was gonna quit out and, um, redo it, because I knew I could do it. Okay, I got a brand new high score. I just beat my score by about um, 340k. And so that's how I normally would do no 10. Just not that sketchy, of course. But yeah, there's no 10, okay? It is hard, as you can see here. But I'm really happy for my brand new score. Let's do a screen cap so I can share it. And again, once again, you know, I'm not like a super hardcore player. You know, if you're looking for how to get 3 million plus, I'd probably go watch Dorky Dad's channel because I trust him. <laughs> but, you know, I, I think I'm representative of someone who, you know, doesn't spend a ton. Uh, I haven't spent on very many characters this year, maybe one or two characters. And, uh, you know, I, I use the resources within my means. And um, no 10 is challenging, but, but like I said, you don't need to do all 10 nodes. You can do lots of scourges and do nine nodes, and I, I'm more than, you know, my team is more than able to clear just node five, and that's it. Um, but if you can get that extra, because obviously I got quite a bit of score uh, from that last node, about 213k or whatever it was. So that does help towards getting more. But of course, it's quite possible that you can just stack on even more scourges than what I'm running to be able to get to uh, node number, uh, to get a high score is what I meant to say on difficulty eight. So this was it. I don't know how many more I'm going to do. Um, maybe I'll do a nine node run with even more scourges. If I stack on too many more, I'm not sure if I'd be able to get through node 10 without having to gear more into my Asgardians, which I don't really want to do at this stage. Uh, I'd rather just save that gold and the gear for other characters. Spider Weaver, who is Mystic, of course, you know, coming up really shortly and things like that. So uh, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. And until next time, stay safe and healthy. And I'll see you all later. Boil on signing out.